for this wicked world Your data's uncorrupted But does something skip inside you? That's what takes up time in your life At the sum of the slides And sooner or later love comes inside you Gets behind you Takes you under its wing It's in some kind of function A reconstruction Where you've always been Sense memory that's so passe Is that what passes for vision these days? I engineer no strangeness I don't have that modern streak What fills up the space in your life? Does the sum of the slides hurt? Sooner or later love comes inside you Gets behind you Takes you under its wing Is it some kind of function? A reconstruction of where you've always been I say time can hurt you I can't be bothered to get you alone in this world You can't do it yourself But make your ends known to your means and your
that this snake has the most efficient venom delivery system of any snake. Believe this, it's a fact. This snake can determine whether or not to whether or not to strike, whether or not to envenomate you, give you venom, or not give you venom, depending on what you do. That fast. The most efficient de delivery system. She can she can stop her venom or inject it precisely. She could give me 70 milligrams or 120. If I'm walking by her and I don't know she's there, but I startle her, in a split second she could bite me and give me a dry bite. She doesn't want to kill me because I wasn't doing anything that made her feel like she needed to kill me. She'll stick me with fangs, dry bite, I live. If she can really determine that this fast. It happens about a third of the time to legitimate bites. In other words, innocent bystanders, hikers, campers, fishermen, when they accidentally get too close to a rattlesnake, a third of those, and they're bitten, a third of those bites are dry. The snake bit them and didn't inject. For those people that decide to approach a snake, agitate it with a stick or a plug or a fishing rod or anything, throw rocks at it or try and pick it up, at that point, the snake has determined you're trying to kill her. Even if your intentions aren't that, she has determined you're trying to kill her, she will give you a deadly yield. And, and that is a fact. A dead one, same thing. One thing is different. Because it's dead and it's a bite reflex from a dead snake, you're getting a deadly yield. You grab that dead rattlesnake's body, it prompts the muscles and nerves that control the bite to work immediately and the venom glands get pushed by powerful muscles from a dead snake. Remember, everything is controlled by these muscles even after the snake's dead, and you're bitten and given a deadly yield by a dead snake. This happens a lot. These are called illegitimate bites, by the way. People toying with snakes, messing with them, and they're bitten. There's no reason. It's not a logical bite. It's a bite that shouldn't have happened. Put her back. Now we're gonna let the kids uh, pet an anaconda. There's her oh, little security box. This himself. is all she wanted, by the way. She just wanted to hide in her box. Look at her peeking to see where I went. Here I am. See? <laughs> and there she goes. So you witness the true nature of rat. Get back in your box. You witness the, the true wow. nature of rattlesnake. They will defend themselves if forced to. They will fight to the death if forced to. But when given a retreat, a way out, they'll take it. Even if it's a ridiculous piece of litter, box. like a cereal box. She knows you're here. She knows I'm here. She could have attacked anybody. She held her ground. And when she had her whole way out, her little bedroom, she took it. Don't hate them. Don't have an un unhealthy respect for them. But have a... Uh, an unhealthy fear for them, but have a good, healthy respect for them. Leave them alone, live or dead, and you'll be okay. Wow. okay. Put her back in survival. If this snake moves fast like other snakes, she'll burn up calories and she won't live as long. She'll have to eat more. She's an ambush predator. She's not like the king cobra, an aerobic predator, the one I showed you earlier. King cobras actively hunt, eat other snakes. She sits in the leaf litter in West Africa's rainforest, flattens out like a pancake. That head goes flat to the ground. She won't move a muscle. Only her pupil, her eye will, will move, her, her eye will move around and look. And you can't even see it because of this, this pattern, this camouflage on her head. Her prey can't see her. She strikes 95 miles an hour. The fangs are in, the venom's in. She feeds that quick. It's that that fast. And then she waits for her next meal. But that could take weeks or months before her next meal comes. When she gets desperate and that food is out of range, she takes his tail, a bunch of leaves all over, and she'll do that. Wiggle it the leaves. Guess what? It attracts the bird. The bird that's out of range comes in range to check out the, the, the invertebrate, the grub or worm under the leaf. She strikes and feeds. <laughs>
Does he need to hold it down and then press all the way? Or? I think so. Okay. You'll know. I'll watch to see if it takes. Okay, hold it halfway. I think it hurts. Okay, that was hers. Okay, now go ahead and press it all the way down. There, that Thank took. you. And we had another paparazzi in the back. Okay. So what is this called? That's a Honduran milk snake. Okay, and do they bite? They can, but she won't. Okay. She's a really passive snake. Wonderful. You know how she protects herself? How? By looking like a deadly coral snake. Oh. That's her only form of protection because she can't defend herself. Yeah. Um, because she's just a small, fragile snake. Okay. She uses color to deceive Thank her you. enemies. You're welcome. Uh, Thank how you. big to get? This is it. They don't, they don't get Thank much you. bigger. You're welcome. Maybe a little bit longer Sorry. and a little bit heavier Sorry. in the yeah. body, but not much. That, no, she's about a 12 year old snake. Right, right, right. And then they always say, they like the sports. So what was the craft today? It was, uh, I think, a pot and a princess wand and tiara. Nice. Here's a good Hi, one. Hi, Mom. That's Dad. They open it and close it. Oh, and there's more of those inside. Oh, that's like, cool. Look, there's, like, this one I'm doing is I Love My Mom. Oh, nice. And then there's your, like, Mom. Yours, too. Yours, too. Yeah, I think we can just do it. Okay, let me, let me, let me cook it.